Good morning everybody, once again welcome back to our distribution channel Today in this very bright day, we are going to upgrade this 3 single phase distribution transformer into a 160kvh 3 phase distribution transformer along with this newly built uh, 3 phase distribution feeders which will be activated or energized today Before we proceed to the disassembly process, let's take a look at the schematic or wiring diagram to better understand and grasp what's really happening and what we are trying to achieve in this project. As depicted from this picture, the red line or the red wire is the single phase medium voltage line around 11.7 kV expected to the ground and the blue wire is the common neutral uh, around this uh, entire circuit which connected to the ground then we have two 50 kph distribution transformer currently connected in bank configuration serving uh, higher loads and one smaller 25 kph uh, transformer to serve smaller load according to the last measurement on the field this small transformer is already overloaded and we saw a very high current drawn from the bank's configuration so we decided to upgrade the entire system to a three-phase distribution transformer with higher capacity which is around 160 kph this is the first 50 kph transformer to be removed from the pole Then the next transformer which is the 25kph part And the last transformer. Then the other crew are moving this distribution transformer from the old pole into the new taller pole because the single phase line will be completely scrapped. The last transformer is removed from the pole. This used transformer then will be repurposed again and will be installed on other place who might need single phase service. And then the crew removing the single phase uh, line and cutting the neutral wire. The other crew are installing the pole band for the secondary surface wire to be installed on the new pole. And as you can see, the old pole is almost clear and ready to be removed from the ground. And now the second secondary surface wire has been moved into the new pole and the crew begins work on the new three-phase transformer. Let's take a look around this uh, three-phase transformer mechanical construction to help us better uh, understand the nuts and bolts around the three-phase transformer. Number one is the feeder line which comes from the substation from the left side. 
Number two is the jumper wire, usually 70 mm square triple AC. Number three is new jumper which goes into the surge arrestor which protect the transformer from a voltage surge. Number four, the fuse cutout which protects the transformer from a current faults. Number six, the bracket or in this case we use multiple cross arms. Seven, the primary bushing. Eight, the transformer itself. 9. Secondary surface wire or low voltage wire which goes into the switchboard below which contain fuses that protect the transformer from backfeeding during maintenance or, or fault which might occur on customer side. Last but not least, the wire leaves the switchboard up into the pole again number 10 and become the surface wire. Let's take a look at the electrical schematic diagram to see what's really changed from electrical perspective. The left side is the medium voltage side and the right side is the low voltage side. As you can see, the source and the load is connected as a YY or star star configuration, although the load is single phase. After some reconfiguration on the load side, now the secondary surface wire is carrying around 190 amps max evenly across all three wires. While on the primary side, the current drawn is around 3.7 amps. Then the old pole is being removed from the ground. The transformers already moved into these new poles, the three phase poles. This rusted pole has been already in service for almost 25 years. guys the upgrading process of single phase to three phase distribution transformer if you enjoy the video please subscribe and likes for more video in the future thank you